Today I want to show you how to make diffuser blends for your wedding day or maybe another special event. These can be used indoors or outdoors using your tea light candles on a table or you could just have small diffusers in a room or a small space. Now you'll want to gather all your supplies. You're going to need your essential oils. You're going to need a bowl for mixing your blends as well as maybe a stir rod or something. And you want to use, maybe for storing them, you might want to need a container. And in this case, I'm only going to just use very little. And I'm going to just put them right here directly into my uh, tea light here. Now, in this case, I can use the oils directly here. Or I might want to add like a carrier oil or something else just so that it's not going to burn on top of the surface. Because I do have a light source here. So it's, getting, it's already starting to get a little warm. So that's something you might want to take a look at. Um, it's not necessary to use a carrier oil, but in the case here, I have pure essential oils, so you may want to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our first recipe. Um, now, again, I mentioned the carrier oil, but we could actually use water here as well. So typically, you only need to use eight to 10 drops of essential oil at a time and you can add more as needed. Now, the first one I wanna make is called Flower Girl. This is gonna be very sweet and delicate. It's not very overpowering. So you can use this one in a dressing room for the bridesmaids or maybe for the Flower Girl. Okay, so we're gonna start with two drops of wild orange or sweet orange. See, it comes out really fast, so I don't need much of that. And then we're gonna add are two drops of grapefruit. Oops, I think I got three. <laughs> That's okay, it's all good. You can do that. Um, and I'm gonna also be using Roman chamomile. So I'm gonna add two drops. Takes a while to come out. And now if you have rose essential oil, it's great to use. I do have rose absolute. So I'm gonna add one drop of rose. Okay, and we're just gonna go ahead and stir these because we wanna check our scent. Wow, that's powerful. Okay, it's, it's really nice, this is sweet. So this is a great one to have in the home as well. You could use it in your bathroom or in the bedroom. It's very rich, very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one aside. I'm gonna do a couple more. This one's called The Proposal. Now this one's much deeper and it's richer. It's for enhancing a mood. Um, you could even use this at a special dinner party, like the rehearsal dinner or maybe another small gathering. So let's see, we're going to start with three drops of bergamot. And we're going to add in some frankincense. So we're gonna do two drops. Wow, that came up fast too. And we're gonna do two drops of pettigrain. Now pettigrain is actually from the orange, but it's, it's part, the oil comes from the leaves. So it's a little bit different than orange. Again, we're just gonna use, I'm gonna use the other end of my stir rod here so I don't mix the fragrances. Ah, this is so good. It's so rich and nice, oh, I love that, it's fresh. I think I would wanna use this in the kitchen too because it has such a citrusy fragrance to it. All right, let's see if we have time for one more. This one I'm gonna call the Ketuba. And we talked about the Ketuba earlier. This one is so rich and intoxicating. It contains all the biblical oils and it's really rich in symbolism. So I want to start with adding two drops of frankincense. Now frankincense is the fragrance of the bridegroom, and myrrh. Now myrrh is also a picture of Yeshua as the suffering servant. So we add a couple drops of that. Hyssop is great as a purifier, a cleanser. It's symbolic of the Holy Spirit. So we're gonna just add a couple drops of hyssop. We can get it to come out. <laughs> And the one that I use for the bride, this is the fragrance of the bride. This one's called Spikenard. This is the one that was used on Yeshua before his burial, as part of preparing him. 
And we're going to just, again, stir these. Check the fragrance, see if you like it. And it is really nice. It's very earthy and grounding because of the spike nard. You might want to add some other citrus fruits, uh, oils, to sort of brighten it up if you like. All right, so maybe one more, just one more. The next one we're going to do is called Under the Hoopa. Now, the hoopa is the marriage canopy that would be placed over the couple during the wedding ceremony. And sometimes they might even just use it to lead. Okay, so this is a great one for outdoors. I'm going to add one drop of clary sage. Oops, I think I got two. And we're gonna add two drops of lime. And this one is gonna call for two drops of juniper berry. Juniper is symbolic of protection in the Bible. So we're gonna try that. And let's just make sure we like it. Ah, very different, because this one is more for outside events. It'll also help with keeping the bugs away. Okay, so those are just some of these that you can try.